everybody, welcome back. Thanks for watching. So I have a review for you of the L'Oreal Infallible, um, the 8-hour leg gloss, 8-hour lip gloss. Um, and I have two colors. Here's the two colors that I have. <clears throat> I'll show you the back so you can kind of see better what the colors are. Um, this color is Pink Topaz. I think it's number 140. And then this color is Bloom, number 125. And I have on the pink topaz. I'm not sure how well you can see it. I do have my window open for natural light, but it's just gray outside here today. So um, I have on the pink topaz. Um, I'll swatch them for you so you can kind of get an idea of the color. This is the applicator that it comes with it. I don't know what this is called. It's kind of like the doe foot, but it's different. You know, it has the divot in there, if you can see that. Um, I don't love it for an applicator, but it is what it is. So, let's see, let me get a good swatch for you. I did wear this color last night, and it just kind of, for me, is almost like a natural lip. It doesn't really add a lot of color. There's the color there. Real light pink. Um, I like it. It's, I mean, it's a de decent color. Um, and then the pink topaz is what I have on today. It's a real nice, like a, I think it's a, what you would call a blue based pink. Um, and that's it there. So it's definitely a much more bold pink color. Um, as far as smell, I hate the way they smell. It's not enough to make me stop wearing it. So I guess I shouldn't say I hate it, but I dislike it. It's not enough to make me not wear it, but it definitely is like a like a floral, powdery, chemically, it's not a pleasant smell. Um, I don't know if that's because of the chemicals that are in it or if it's a scent that they added. I hope it's not a scent they added because this stinks. But um, I hope that doesn't discourage you from buying these because I think they're good lip glosses. I don't care for the smell, but when I have it on my lips, I guess I should say that. When I have it on my lips, I don't really smell the smell. It's just when I put it on my hand and I smell it. So know that. Um, I do want to point out on the top here, it says, I don't know if you can see that, but it says mirror underneath. And I don't know exactly what they're talking about. I don't know if they mean that I'm supposed to peel the sticker off and then there's a mirror there. It is sort of mirrored, but what am I supposed to do with that? Because here it is, and here I'm putting on my lip gloss. That doesn't do me any good when I'm putting on the lip gloss here. There should be a mirror on here so that I can look and put my lip gloss on on here. It This is not a feature that impresses me at all, that the top is mirrored. That doesn't help me at all. Anyway, um, and they both, they both say that. So um, I wanted to try them because of the, you know, the L'Oreal Infallible is a good line. It's definitely stuff that stays on your face for a while. Um, and it says 8-hour lip gloss. Uh, I put this on a couple of hours ago. Um, when you first put it on, it is a little bit sticky. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more sticky than your other glosses that you're used to. Um, and I don't typically like sticky glosses, but it doesn't stay that sticky. Um, you put it on, and if you leave it alone, and by that I mean don't purse your lips, which I am terrible about. I It's like a like a tick for me. I just do it all the time. Um, but if you leave it alone, it does sort of like dry and it's not going to be like bone dry, but it does become not as sticky. And it, I mean, it does dry out a little bit. Like now what I put, I put on a little bit right before I started this video and it is a little bit drier. There, I kissed my hand and a little bit came off, but not a lot. I mean, you can see that little bit but not a lot which I appreciate because with the baby I'm kissing her face all day long and this is one of the reasons why I don't usually wear products on my lips because I'm kissing her face all day long and I don't want her whole face to be gooped up with lip gloss so um, but yeah it definitely does dry a little bit and um, I don't think it's eight hours <laughs> I, I mean I think eight hours if you're not um, drinking or eating anything uh, the first time that I tried this, I put it on and then I had dinner. There was a little bit of the color left on my lips after I ate 
there was. So I give them credit for that because a lot of products are just gone. But it wasn't enough to where I felt like I wouldn't have to reapply. I definitely, if I was out, you know, and I had dinner, I would definitely have to reapply um, after eating. I think that it does last, you know, two or three hours, which for a lip gloss, as you girls know, is pretty freaking good for a lip gloss. Um, so, I don't think that they're eight-hour lip glosses, but if you're looking for a lip gloss that stays on well, um, that you don't have to reapply every half an hour, I do, I do recommend the L'Oreal Infallible eight-hour lip gloss, even though it has a little bit of a funky smell when you put it on your hand. I don't smell it when it's on my lips and it stays on. So I don't know what else to say, but I hope that this review helps you. And if you have any questions about it, just leave me a message. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.